Welcome back, everybody. For those of us just joining us, there are no results yet from the Connecticut primary, or, or there are results and no one cares. Folks, everything right now is so confusing. The president is asking for his face on Mount Rushmore. Our biggest celebrities are infectious disease doctors. It's 2020, and we're still talking about Smash Mouth. I often don't understand what's going on. But luckily, we here at The Late Show have an expert in not understanding things, and her name is Bootsy Plunkett. And she is the mother of my field producer, Jake Plunkett, and she's The Late Show's official uninformed correspondent. Back in March, at the beginning of March, Jake took Bootsy to discuss the coronavirus, about which so many of us were uninformed at the time, with a physician and Yale public health lecturer, Dr. James Hamblin. Unfortunately, soon after that, Bootsy actually contracted COVID-19 and had to be treated in an ICU. Thankfully, Bootsy's recovered, and now she's experienced the virus firsthand, and there was so much more she wanted to become less uninformed about. Jim? My mom and I taped a segment on the coronavirus on March 9th. I don't want to die. Right. I just got a brand new granddaughter. I don't want you to die. By March 12th, we were in quarantine. A week later, she started feeling sick, and by the end of the month, she tested positive for the virus and spent nine days in the ICU battling for her life. She has since recovered, but is baffled on why the country remains so willingly uninformed about the virus. So I decided to take her back to Dr. James Hamblin to get his opinion on the matter. But first, I wanted to ask my mother about her experience in the ICU. It was so scary. People walking around with big hazmat suits on. It, it just seemed like something out of a horror Don't like touch a, your mask. You can't touch your face. Oh, it seemed like something out of a horror show. Well, I didn't think I was going to live. So <laughs> I figured if I'm going out, I'm going out the fun way. And what was the fun way? Eating all the good <laughs> Pudding, jello. I had a bunch of drinks with sugar in them. They didn't know I was diabetic yet. So when it came, I hoided it, put it in my little drawer. And then one night I just sat there and popped everything open like a big kid. Then they found that I was a diabetic and they stopped giving me that stuff. What else have you been doing since, uh, since everything went south? Well, now I have a heart condition that I didn't have going in. From the virus? From the virus, so I had to go see a heart doctor, and then I had to get um, an angiogram where they stick the wires up you to see if you have a blockage. And the doctor goes to me, can I ask you a serious question? I said, yeah. He goes, in school or throughout your life, or were you ever a dancer or a professional player of something? Because you got muscles that I've never seen on a woman before. So what do I do? I lie, and I always lie. And I go, oh, yeah, 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 I was a professional basketball player. And then they ask me what, what team, and I make up a false, a false name. What was the team name? The, the Carney Eagles. He goes, oh, I've never heard of that. I go, yeah, I played for four years. I'll tell you, I was good at it. I've never picked a basketball up in my whole life. Can you actually show them how high you can jump with your kneecaps being both replaced? You know I can't jump. Come on, get up for a second. I can't jump. Get up for a second. I want to just prove to you how much of a basketball player she is. Say, hey, I'm Bootsy. Hey, I'm Bootsy. I play for the Carney Eagles. I play for the Carney Eagles. Watch me dunk. Watch me dunk. <laughs> Ow! So do you want to go talk to Dr. Sure. Hamblin? Let's, Let's do it. Go. Do you want to do a stand-up first? Hi, this is Bootsy. I'm here with The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and I'm here to meet Dr. Hamblin. Bootsy, it's a different show now. It's a late show. When not... did it come a late show? A late show? Yes. When? When all this happened. Hi, this is Bootsy. I'm here with a late show. You know that's not right. Don't touch your face. Hi, this is Bootsy. I'm here with a an ass named Jake Plunkett. Oh my God. Hi, I'm Dr. James Hamblin for A Late Show with Stephen Colbert. I'm here with Bootsy, and we're going to be learning together about the coronavirus. See? Is that? You see? That was first take. <laughs> it was time to get serious. So I had my mom describe to Dr. Hamblin the various symptoms she experienced while battling COVID-19. 
they came in and told me that I got blood clots. Then they came in and told me I had heart arrhythmia. Yeah. Then they came in and told me my kidneys were shutting down. And this went on and on and on. So they sent me for a, a CAT scan, and they said there's so much damage done to my lungs. So do you have trouble walking around now, getting short of breath? I, I have my inhaler in me right with yeah. me right now. Wait a minute. I was just going to take a swig of hand sanitizer. I thought it was a bottle of water. Look, I was just going to go like that. Oh, my gosh. Why do people think it's not real and it's like, you know, it's a conspiracy theory, this virus? Uh, well, there are a lot of reasons. I think one of them is that you have the president of the United States saying, uh, kind of downplaying it and saying we're opening back downplaying up. Downplaying it. He doesn't even believe it exists. Not wearing a mask until right? just once very recently. I saw but, him. He's just, I've never seen such a bigger ass. Let me just say it like that. It was not impossible to avoid this. Other countries have avoided this. The other countries said, this is going to be really bad. We're going to take action. Right. And, they, and they did. And we just kept denying and downplaying. And we still don't really have great testing. I almost lost my eyeballs with those sticks. Right. You get them? You ever get them? Sticks in your eyeballs? No. Follow me. The I'm trying. Sticks up your nose. Oh, right. No, they I haven't gotten it yet. They do almost touch your eyeball. I understand, yeah. Oh, it's painful. Uh-huh. I Yeah. It feels like it's going to touch your brain, though, right? Your eyeballs. Oh. Yeah, well, same thing, brain. I don't know where my brain is, yeah. but wherever. There should be a bone back there that stops it from hitting your brain. Yeah. What are you going to do the first day when this is all over? What are you going to do? You know, I'm finding ways to do the things I really want to do, just in slightly different ways. Mm -hmm. So I've been going to my favorite restaurants, but I've been sitting outside apart from people. OK. Instead of waiting, to do something, I think we need to find new creative ways to do those things instead of putting off something we really love doing. Yeah, you're right. Because we don't know when that's going to be again. Yeah, and so there's nothing I'm really, no, nothing I'm really waiting on. What about you? Uh, I'm going to go to Red Lobster. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, that is the, uh, or, the best answer I could have imagined. No movies. Yeah. I'm a movie junkie. Oh, going to a movie theater. That is something love I would it. look forward to. Yeah. Oh, I love horror movies, man. They made a rule in Japan about reopening roller coasters that said you're not allowed to scream. Oh, it that's said, scream inside your heart. Oh, come on. I can't go on a roller coaster. Last time I went on a roller coaster, I couldn't get out. I was soaked. I peed. I was going to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Peed my pants. Bootsy, it's, it's really helpful for you to share your experience, I think, because people aren't taking this seriously. And when they hear what you've been through and how yeah, no, it's, life-changing it's it is. It's so life-changing. So, and I hope it doesn't happen to anybody. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. It's so nice to see you, and I'm so glad you're doing well. Thank you. Maybe we'll get together and see each other again. Who knows? I would really enjoy that. Hi, this is Bootsy. Just wanted to tell you, take this seriously. Wear your mask. Social distance, wash your hands. It's that simple. I've never heard it more eloquently stated. Thank you, Bootsy. So glad you're better. And thank you, Dr. Hamblin. His new book, Clean, is available now. We'll be right back with Ozark star Laura Lenny. Stick around. Mm -hmm.